This fourth grade teacher leads a science lesson about eclipses using inquiry. She uses a KWL style format by checking prior knowledge, listing student produced questions, allowing students to explore by interest, and sharing the learning. Notice how she uses students' prior knowledge. Known concepts are compared to new ones, and some misconceptions are cleared. Sun axis. Earth. And? The sun. The sun. The sun. Which was a little weird, wasn't it? I know. I didn't even know that. To think about the sun having an axis. It's kind of strange. E, what else have we talked about? Um, no, no, no. We did. It is not made of cheese. I think it was Joe, wasn't it? Yeah. So the moon is not cheesy. And therefore not delicious. Grady, what else have we talked about? I was going to ask a question. What is your question? Since somebody said the uh, sun has an axis, uh -huh. does it rotate? What do you think? No. Not sure? Let's, let's put that on our list of questions for today, since we're not sure. Yeah, you can be looking while we're talking about our other questions. Thomas? Um, when we were talking about Rosetta in 2004, we watched find um, a comet. We and we're talking about, um, we did talk about comets that had um, rotation and revolve. Mm -hmm. Revolve, like a comet can go like straight and never see it again, like that. Or a comet can have a spatial path, like Haley's comet goes for every um, 76 years. Wow, we've talked about a lot, haven't we? Yes. Today we're going to talk about the last part of our solar system unit. Can I guess? Of course. The solar and lunar eclipse. Gosh, how did you know that? I don't know. Do you use any clues around the room? Um, well, I see... Um, I see Earth, I see the Sun, and I see where it can have a solar and a lunar eclipse. Ah! Two key ingredients for inquiry, tools and questions, are added during the What do students want to know phase of the lesson. Okay, now, I'm asking you, what do you want to know about the Can the solar and lunar eclipse happen the same time on a different planet? Can a solar? So I'm assuming that there are two kinds of eclipses at least, it looks like. He mentioned two. Happen at the same time on another planet. What planet were you thinking of? Uh, maybe Saturn or Jupiter because they have Saturn has the most um, um, Saturn has the most demand and especially the Titan I think um, that um, that can cause eclipses because they could be in front of the sun. Oh. So since there's so many moons, maybe there's more of a chance. Can the sun and beetle eyes together have eclipse? I don't know. Can suns eclipse each other? That's like a... That's a good question. That's like an astronomical question. <laughs> we may have to consult an expert. Like him? Now you know the rules of using tools. You're a scientist. They are tools, not toys, right? Yes. Yes. Use them for their proper measurement and scientific inquiry uses. Right, Cameron? And yeah. not a basketball. And not a basketball. However, there are other things in the room that you can use. There's a globe in here, there are flashlights that you can use to show the sun. That's all I'm going to say, because I want you to figure this out for yourself, okay? Okay, so do you need to answer all nine questions? No. No. But I want you to pick one or two that are really important to you, that you would really like to know, 
and we're going to stop every mm, 10 minutes or so and check in and see if anybody's found anything yet. Okay? Sound good? All right. As students explore, the teacher asks questions and provides feedback to assist the learning. A little bit so this is blocking. Well, we've got the sun coming from both ways. Though. Okay. So right now it's just not coming. Which part of the sun is hotter? Can it? If this is revolving around the sun. That's confusing. I'm making a super sun. If this is revolving around your sun, and there's no moon there, is there ever anything to block it? Only if there are other planets in front of it. That oh, block it. I'm making a super sun. Can planets eclipse each other? It's very amazing. Hmm. Why don't you take a planet and a planet in your sun and see how it works? Sun, there, right? On the sun, on the order of the you can't take the sun, I think, and then on the sun, you can't take the sun. Are you sure? Can I have one of those okay. things to use? Yes, thank you. You may borrow the sun. How can we figure out if you're right? Okay, Once you get done, and we're going to use it. Yeah, not the only place, you know. So, I got to show Miss Pierre. Can I show you a place you can look in your science book? After exploring possible solutions to selected questions, the class convenes to share findings.